Bob Putney Lewis Field in Morgantown, West Virginia. It's the Buchanan Upshare Buccaneers against our Morgantown Mohegans in the 2001 season opener. Hello again, everybody. I'm Chris Austin. Thanks for being here on this 24th day of August. Beautiful Friday evening. And kind of a brand new Pony Lewis Field. you notice the turf is brand new. Wonderful new turf. The stands on the home side have been refurbished, and the stands on the press box side with the press box somewhere. We don't know where. They've been removed. New stands will be built. A new press box will be built. And uh, should be a fine year. Morgantown, of course, coming off a fantastic 2000 season where they ran the table, went 14 0, and were the 2000 AAA West Virginia state champions, defeating Parkersburg in the state championship at Wheeling Island Stadium. They were the NCAC champions, and like 10 0 perfect season and 14 0 to finish regular season, giving Coach McNew his first ever state championship, something he's been waiting for for a very long time. Crowd on here. Derek Doherty will tee it up. Higgins will kick off to start the year. Kicking off for Morgantown, number 27, Eric Doherty. Deep for the Canada Upshur, number 12, Brian Corey, and number 20, Sean Dallas. Will turf look good or what? Doherty tees it up and lets it fly, and that one has landed somewhere around the tubas. The start to the 2000 season for the senior kicker, 27, Eric Doherty. So now the defense will come on the field. A couple of returning guys on defense include number 50, Adam Dalton, linebacker. Of course, Seth Fogarty is back at linebacker. Replacing Alex Lake in the middle will be Matt Simpson. Both juniors, all three juniors, as a matter of fact. MC Friend on one end. Sloan Basin takes the snap over center. Give it to the fullback and right away, nothing happening. As Lohegan's jump in the middle. Matt Simpson, Dempsey Friend, Matt Moeller up front, along with number 33, Guy Hornsby. The lone sophomore starting on defense. Second and 10. Second and 10 from the 20 yard line. Points to the near side for Baisden. One man in motion. And get to a little setback who's hit, and met and dropped right away. Adam Finnis in there along with Guy Hornsby. His post might have lost a yard on the play. It brings up third and long now for Buchanan. Fence. It's all new. Tony Lewis looks like an actual football field, wouldn't you say? High formation, third and nine. Option by Baseman runs off the right side and is met by Matt Simpson. Also in on the tackle, number 24, Seth Fogarty. A new number for him. Seth wore pretty much a different number every week last year. 22 and 88 were his numbers. And he takes Pat Griffith's number. So Buchanan goes three and out. They'll be forced to punt the football. And Kelly is standing at his 10 to punt the football. A lefty. And it's a bullet fielded by Fiddler at about the 43 to the 45. Good, a couple of blocks. Nice hit by Suhail Zia. As Fiddler returns it into Buchanan territory where the Mahegan offense will start to begin the 2001 campaign. First and 
then Shane Fogarty returns at quarterback, the senior. Along the wing at number 21, Nick Miller. Fullback is Adam Finnis. The tailback is Jeremy Rodimer. They give to Rodimer, who's going to throw it on the first play from scrimmage. Has a man down the field, and it's almost intercepted. Intended for Seth Fogarty as Rodimer underthrew him on the first play of the game. Incomplete. It will be second and ten. <laughs> so it will be second and ten from the 44. And fake the handoff, Fogarty to throw. Fires over the middle and caught. Yes, by Seth Fogarty this time. At the 34 to be close to a Mohegan first down. No word yet. Number 45, Brock Marble on the stop defending. Just short. Nine yard game. That was a bad spot. Third down. That was a bad spot. The third and one now for Morgantown. Over at the wing. Kleinschmidt wide to the left. They give to Finnis up the middle first down and change. 25, still on his feet, finding his way to the 20 yard line. First carry of the year for Adam Finnis. And it's a first and 10 for Morgantown at the 20 yard line. 15 yard gain for the senior. In wing right now, Fogarty wide to the right. This is Jeremy Rodimer, right side from the 20 at the 15. Rodimer's got a burst of speed. 10, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Junior Jeremy Rodimer with the first touchdown of the year, and the Mohegans jump out to a 6 0 lead on his first carry of the 2001 campaign. Rodimer puts six on the board. After the hold of Chris Dredding, Wes McVay, number 25, is the snapper. McVay to snap, running to hold, it's botched. Darty has to pick it up and run with it. Darty trying to turn the corner and is brought down quickly by Buckcannon's David Post. So. No good on the PAT, but Morgantown leads it 6 0 here in the first quarter. Capping the drive from the Mohegans. It began after Buck Cannon was forced to punt after three and out. The Mohegans started from the 44 yard line. Initially, the first play of the game, Rodmer tried to hook up with Fogarty incomplete. And Seth Fogarty got a pass from his brother Shane, nine yards. Finnis goes 15. Rodmer caps it with a 20 yard run. Six nothing Morgantown here in the first quarter. Fogarty with another solid shot. This one's already about three yards deep in the end zone. West Virginia Rolls makes it an automatic touchback. It crosses the goal line. First and ten, Buckcannon. First and ten, and the Buccaneer 20. Just have 
the Bucks come with an eye formation, wing to the right. Too tight set. Again to the post, the fullback hit. Initially, but dropped by Dempsey Friend. Crosses the 20. Maybe two. Post gets one, make it second and nine from the 21 yard line. High formation, again. Phased in the throw, looking back. Friend providing pressure, screen pass. Finnis can't get him, ball is loose on the ground. Morgantown football recovered by Hayden Kleinschmidt. After Guy Hornsby forced the turnover. And Morgantown will start deep in Buckhannon territory, first and 10. Nice play by the Wahigans defensively. Number 36, Adam Tennis, broke up the pass. First and 10. About the 17-yard line, we'll say. Give it the 18. Fogarty to throw. Looking one time pattern for Seth. Fogarty overthrown and complete. Second to ten out for Morgantown. 7.45 and counting here in the first quarter. Spread formation, Rodimer the lone setback, and they give to Rodimer on the job play. Tries to turn to the outside and does. Looking for a seam, steps it outside, immediately tackled though. Jeremy gets maybe two. Give Rodimer one. Third and nine. Rodimer now out of the left, finish the lone setback. Twins to the far side and the, the near side. Shane Fogarty out of the shotgun, fires over the middle, intended again for Seth Fogarty, but it falls. Incomplete to bring up fourth down for Morgantown. Shane looking for traffic there. Fourth and nine. Let's we'll see if Coach McKinney wants to kick the field goal. Be about a 30 yarder. It's about a 34 yarder. For senior Eric Darty. From 34 yards, the ball is down. The kick is on its way. The kick looks good, and it is. Thirty connects on that field goal. Morgantown leads it nine nothing. Guy Horns because the fumble, Hayden Kleinschmidt recovered it on the 18 yard line of Buckingham. But the Buckingham defense held tight, causing the Mohegans to go three and out. Eric Doherty, the senior, comes on, kicks a 34 yard field goal. And Morgantown now leads it 9 0. I can go pretty much more field than what Dirty, Dirty's first two kickoffs. Touchbacks. This one will be a two stroke penalty, and he'll have to re hit the nine iron. Pump falls out of the tee. the 
five this time. The 10, 15. About the 18 yard line, dropped on a play by Dan Dalton, making the hit. So the junior gets a tackle and a kickoff. Dalton celebrates. 6.51 to go here in the first quarter. Morgantown leading 9 0. Tony Lewis debuting the AstroTurf here. So far, it's good. Fullback, now the second. He gets past the linebackers before a host of Mohegans making the stop. Adam Dalton and Seth Fogarty. Twenty-four. Tail back again. Nice hit this time by Adam Finnis. Number twenty, Sean Dime, the ball carrier. First down, Buchanan. Their first of the night. First down, Buchanan Upshur. Just shy of the 34 now. Too tight. Wing right. Eye formation. H back really. Bays the back to pass. Short pass. And caught. And immediately dropped by Hayden Klein Schmidt. Matt Simpson on the tackle as well. A lot of authority on that pass by Baysden. No gain on the play. Second and again, Tim. Fish. Number 20, Sean Dahlheim. Tim Dahlheim, the ball carrier, but Adam Dalton came up and made the stop. About a six yard gain now for Dalheim. Well, he only got to the 36, not the 40. Two yard gain for Dalheim, third and eight. Faced him to throw. Keeps him down the middle and has a man that's incomplete. Rodimer in coverage, pass was intended for Ryan Curry. So again, Buchanan forced a punt. Kelly from his 25. Ball it up the middle. Rodimer has it, fumbles it, picks it up at the last second, and is immediately yanked and tackled at the 35. Not a smart return by the junior. He's lucky to get it back. So Morgantown will start their worst field position of the night from their own 35. Here in the first quarter. Nine nothing Mohegans. First and ten, Morgantown at their own 35 yard line. Burgundy to the left, this time Rodmer on 
the carry, looking for a hole, finds a seam, crosses the 35, makes a move, dancing, still on his feet, turns to the outside and has a Mohegan first down. Nice run by Rodimer as he gets it close to midfield. Yard run by Rodimer. This is Nick Miller looking for a hole. Turns it to the outside, crosses midfield to about the 49 yard line. Three yard pickup for Miller. It'll be second and seven. motion, Fogarty to pass. Back, good protection, pocket collapses. Fogarty heaves one downfield, overthrows his intended receiver. And that Jay was Fogarty, number 30, Matt Lott. Joe, oh, Joe Bragg, my fault. Number 24, Sloan Baston, downfield defending. Third down and seven now for the Mohegans. Spread formation for Fogarty out of a shotgun. The Buccaneer 49, he's one, has a man caught by Hayden Kleinschmidt inside the 40 yard line. Good for a Mohegan first down. Pass by Fogarty. One for 11 yards. On the cross, here's Rodimer, steps inside, makes a move, tripped up though, as he nears the 31 yard line. Rodimer will pick up about seven. Second and three. Rodimer again, behind Matt Simpson. Fights his way ahead, first down. Rodimer can break away, no. Inside the 25, down to about the 23. This is eight yards for Jeremy, and O'Hagan first down. Chris Cross Miller has a nice hole, 50, 20, 15, runs into his own blocker. As Shane Fogarty was out ahead of him throwing a block. Eight yard pickup by Miller. Three first downs on this drive by the Mohegans. Tell Nick Miller when you get back in there. Stay with these blocks on 38. All right, he's going to stand with him. Okay? Hey, got it. And official time. Procedure penalty caught on the Mohegans. 
Push him back to the 20. is going to be cut in the backfield. As all the Buccaneers were in the backfield there. Jeremy will lose two on the play. Third and long now for Morgantown. Third and about nine. Come on! Come on. He has the offense spread. Finished the lone setback. They fake the finish. Shane's in trouble. Fogarty scrambles out of trouble. Fires over the middle. Caught! To about the nine yard line. Shane Fogarty. Seth Fogarty. Down to the 10, a 12 yard pickup and a Mohegan first down. Tight end, tight end. Quarter, coach, quarter, 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 coach. Quarter. Come on, y'all. First and goal at the 10 yard line. First and goal from the 10. As they get it off just before the end of the quarter, Rodimer stopped and dropped it to 8. Rodimer will get two, as that's the end of the first quarter. Morgantown on top, 9-0. This is Morgantown Mohegan Football, a Video Quest production. Second and goal from the eight yard line now as we begin the second quarter. Second and goal at the eight yard line. Official timeout. Fix the equipment. Now they're back. Rodimer out of the broken eye. And give to Jeremy through the middle into the end zone. Touchdown, Jeremy Rodimer. Eight yard run by Jeremy to start the second quarter. So his first carry in the first quarter, touchdown. First carry in the second quarter, touchdown. This one goes eight yards, and the Mohegans jump out to a 15 0 lead. He'll go for two to make up for the missed point after. Wins to the left. Split behind Shane Fogarty is Finnis and Rodham. They give to Adam Finnis. Fights his way ahead. Pounding into the end zone. Two points. Adam Finnis. Morgantown leading it. 17-0 early here in the second quarter. Nice long drive by the Mohegans. They started from their own 35 yard line. Rodimer went 13 yards. Then Nick Miller three. Shane Fogarty hooked up with Hayden Kleinschmidt sure. for 11. Rodimer seven, Rodimer eight. Nick Miller eight yards. Procedure penalty knocked it back to the 20. 
Rodimer is dropped for his first loss, minus two at the 22. Then on third and long, Shane Fogarty found Seth for 12 yards. Down to the 10, Rodimer goes two, and then the remaining eight. Adam Finnis tacks on two in the conversion. And Morgantown leads it 17 to nothing as Doherty will kick off for the fourth time tonight. And this one's rifled through the middle and picked up at the 15 to the 20 to the 25. And all the way down to about the 33 yard line. Nice tackle on a play by Bradley Botkin. First and ten, Buchanan. And post hit, met, and dropped by junior linebacker Matt Simpson. Number 22, David Post on the carry. Stopping the number 64, Matt Simpson. So Morgantown has actually held Buchanan scoreless since they played here four years ago in 1997. The Mohegans have shut up Buchanan in 98, 99, and last year. Second 12 quarters, now 13 straight quarters if you count the first quarter. And the give on the fake. And there's Bazden, and he's off to the races. Good night, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. And as soon as the words come out of my mouth, Buchanan breaks the scoreless streak. Sloan Bazden took off, found his way through a hole, and rambled 60 yards for the Buccaneer touchdown. Corey to kick and it's up and it splits the upright. So Buccaneer, uh, Buchanan has gotten a huge monkey off their back and now they're back in this game down by two touchdowns. 17 to seven the score here at Bunny Lewis Field. Bucks didn't bring their band, or they're just awfully quiet. Could be warming up. Half time is on the right. So now the Mohegan kick return team hits the turf for the first time. See, the new turf has completely destroyed the far side stance. I don't know how it's relevant. It even de destroyed the Mohawk tunnel is gone, if you'll notice, near the locker rooms. And there's a pooch kick fielded, almost. Jason Smith falls on the loose football as Zia had trouble with it. Supporting the eye shield this year. No decorations on his face mask. From the 34, Morgantown takes over. First and 10. Wing right, Fogarty wide to the left. Miller in the wing to the right. Fake to Rodimer. 
over to the lefty. Airs one out down the sideline, looking for Seth. Almost intercepted. Nice pass breakup by Sean Dahlheim. Number 20, Sean Dahlheim, the downfield defender. Pass ball is incomplete. It'll be second and ten. Linesman now wide to the right. Here's Rodimer, Chris Cross, Nick Miller in trouble in the backfield and is wrapped up and brought to the ground. A loss of three. And that will make it third and a long 13 for the Mohicans. Now third and with the offense spread for Shane Fogarty. Looking good protection, fires one over and intercepted. Intended for Hayden Kleinschmidt. He's been playing deep with Sloan Baisden and he intercepts it at the 45 yard line. And now the Buccaneers who scored on their last possession for the first time in four years. Looking to mount a rally. Good field position at the 47. Twins to the left. They give up the middle and nothing. Matt Muller underneath the pile, the lead tackler, Guy Hornsby and Adam Dalton with the assist. No gain on the play, it'll be second down. Buck Cannon taking the time. Coming out of the huddle, play clock winding down. High formation, one to each side, tight to the right. Quick strike over the middle, complete to the tight end at midfield. <laughs> As Dalton and Fogarty almost collide. Agris makes the catch. It'll be a three four yard pickup. But we bring up a third and seven. to the right now the give no based and fakes has a man open at the 40 and it's cut again egress and now he's west mcveigh making the tackle but the buccaneers are at the mohegan 39 yard line just like that the 11 yard pickup and a buchanan first down First and 10, the Morgantown 37. 13-yard pickup pass play, the longest play of the night for Buchanan minus the Basin 60-yard run. Again, this time the ball is loose on the ground. Rodimer hits him, strips it. It should be Mohegan football. It is. Great play by free safety Jeremy Rodimer, making the hit and Recovering the fumble. Dalheim was open, but Rodimer came up and hit him. Second fumble of the night for the Buccaneers. So from the 31, 17-7, Morgantown leading. Broken eye behind Shane Fogarty. 
to give us the rod. We're looking for a hole up the middle. Tripped as he fights through the line of scrimmage across the 45, fighting his way ahead to the 49 yard line. Four, 13 yard pickup by Rodimer, first and 10. This time it's Finnis up the middle. First down and change. Eleven yards for Finnis, first down. Here's Rodman, right side for a block. Gets one from Matt Simpson, still on his feet near the 42-yard line. Eight of three. Holding penalty though called on the Mohegans. It'll come back. Simpson will be called for holding. That'll knock them back to their own 45. Be first and 20. Broken eye wing to the right, Fogarty wide to the left. Give us to Rodimer, looking for a hole up the middle. Gets a couple. Jeremy to about the 48, it'll be a three yard gain for Jeremy. Stopping by number 73, Kevin Newman. Second and 17. Just looks a little different over there without the stands, doesn't it? And the Mohawk Tunnel, and the new turf. New coaches' hats. Same uniforms, though. Same red on red. Fogarty to throw. Fires over the middle. Has a man caught by Fittis. He makes a move across the 45 to about the Buccaneer 43 yard line. Nine yard pickup. Third down, though, for the Bohemians. Third and eight, maybe. Third down. And he's finished up the middle. Finding his way through a hole. Finnis gets the first down. Needed eight and got it. To the 34. There's a nine yard pickup for Finnis. Rodham. Spinning move. Tripped up though. As it gets to the 30. Stop number 75, Brandon Triplett. Get it free on the carry. Second and seven at the 25. Punchment wide to the left. Tennis up the middle. 
and not much. Two made the 28. Stopping by number 36, Chris Kimball. And the 24, rather. Side, Jeremy at the 20, makes a nice move at the 15, 10, 5, touchdown! Sweet piece of running by junior Jeremy Rodimer. His third touchdown of the night, and Morgantown now leads it 23 to 7. Ball is down, the kick is on its way, and the kick is good. So Jeremy Rodimer in his debut with the starting tailback. Nice impression. Three touchdowns. Talk about the shoes to fill, and it, the list just keeps getting longer and longer each year. It's that prestigious spot at Mohegan Tailback. Rodimer, before him, Kennedy Award winner Mark Wagner. Before him, Kennedy Award winner Chris Shera. And before him, Kennedy Award candidate Josh Miller, or Josh McMillan. Not to mention the ones before him. Up quite the list. Number 27, Harry Garvey will kick off. Deep for the Canada Upshur, number 12, Ryan Corey, and number 84, Scott Stead. They're ready to tee it up. Kicking from the 40. This one goes into the end zone for the touchdown. Jay Voighthofer, Shane Fogarty, center and quarterback. Adam Mohegan's out to a 24 to seven lead. Here in the second quarter, looking for the Mohegan's 15th straight victory. Dating back to last season, haven't lost a game since November of 99. As Matt Moeller, company, making the stop. Meaning Morgantown yet to lose in this century. Stopping the number 55, Matt Cozart. Oh, and only two teams in West Virginia have yet to lose a game in this century, and the other one just down the road, Bridgeport. Posts well for this part of the state. What do you say, Randy? Hope they don't make you move. I like this spot. Power eye for the Buccaneers. As they give to David Post, who's hit and dropped by junior Seth Fogarty. Or Dahlheim, depending upon what game you're watching. As the clock winds here in the second quarter, looking toward halftime. Bazin firing, almost intercepted. So where was Nick Miller on that one? 
Number 21, Nick Miller, makes the breakup. Fourth down now for the Buccaneers. They'll be forced to punt the football. When he gets called timeout. And we'll go down to the sideline. Ladies and gentlemen, a reminder here at Colonial Steel in soccer tomorrow. You in there? I'm a lot. I'm a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hey, one, two, down there. Tell me. Yeah, you're a Nicky's out. Let me go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So the Mohegan Punt team assembled with order. Durham and Rodham are back deep. And the Buccaneers want to call time. So now there's time to formulate a plan. Hey, Dan, go! Who's got, you've got the wing back. Stay in those. You're the outside guy? What? Who's the inside guy? Rick Aaron. You have the tight end, so you would have the wing back. All right, is that correct? Huh? Who's got the tight end on this side? Watch for the fake. Let's go. Watch for the fake. Let's go. Man, you're on the left side. He's on the right. So the Buccaneer timeout, formulated plan by the Mohegans, gives them a chance to watch the fake. Deep in your own territory though. Down 24 to seven, late in the second quarter. But the not want to take that risk. And the left footed kicker gets a nice spiral. Takes a bounce. And Durham will let it roll. To the 35. So the Mohegans will take over first and 10 from their own 35. 24 to seven here in the fourth quarter, or second quarter. It is a beautiful night, isn't it? Out of the shotgun, Shane Fogarty. Takes the snap, drops back, looks, fires downfield, has a man, oh, and that dropped Miller could not hold on. Shane Fogarty. Poor Nick Miller and his hands, not his best Nick friend tonight as he dropped the interception, then drops the pass. 20, that would have been an easy 20 down. yards. As we approach the one minute mark to go in the half. Again, spread formation now for Shane Fogarty. The Bucks still keep six men in the box, anticipating the draw, and they anticipate correctly. As Finnis is brought down. It's about a three-yard game.
Fogarty, third time in a row, shotgun. Chin back looking, he's one right side and complete. Over a fourth down. Doherty's first punt of the night, and he's barely gets it away. It's an excellent kick to the 15 as Dalton is in pursuit. Durham can't get him. Finally brought down from behind by number 31, Brad Butkin, his second tackle on special teams. But Doherty barely gets it off. <laughs> is there a flag down, and was he rough? Didn't quite see it. Apparently known as the defense is on the field. Give up the middle. The fullback and Matt Simpson is there to stuff him. You have to hold it, then you uh, can hold it. From the 39 now. Second down. Bazed on the keeper. Drag, pulled backwards. And we'll see where they spot the football. Because that's always an adventure here on uh, West Virginia High School football. Spot the ball. <laughs> oh, that was fun. That was nothing. But Cannon has called timeout. The concession stands are open tonight for your convenience. Move out there and beat him up and stay there. They are located behind the main grandstand and also at field level below the scoreboard. You guys back up a little bit. Go to John. Go to John. Cover three. Go for a throwback. Do not let the tight end. And you move head up on the tight end. Back about the tight end. The reminder that a concession stand hey, is also open on the far side. Proceeds from the stand. Hey, 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 5.9 seconds. Restroom facilities are located at field level near the scoreboard. I'm glad we did that. Ready for some alliteration here? A shade short of six ticks remaining here in the first half. Third down. As Buchanan will try one last play. And Bazden gets away from three tacklers, four. And finally brought down by Matt Mishorley from behind. As that will be the first half. Morgantown leads at 24 to seven, third quarter in a moment. This is Morgantown Mohegan Football Video Quest Production. Here we go, third quarter. We're ready to start here at refurnished Pony Lewis Field. New furniture, new carpeting, it's like a whole new house. And Buchanan, another hard kick, taken by the Mohegans, and down by Jason Smith, the 32-yard line. That's smart. Because I know Smith has been running that 4-1, 4-2-40 lately, but... Jason Smith, nice play. 
Morgantown leads it 24 to seven. As we start the third quarter. Out of a broken eye. Dotted by Rodman. Miller the to the right. They give to Jeremy. Right side. Looking for a hole. Turns it upfield. 35 down to the 37. Five yard pickup for Jeremy. It'll be second and five. Ogerty wide to the left now. Just cross Miller, trying to find a block, and is grabbed by the face mask. Certainly there's gotta be at least one call here. Nice tackle, or nice play to get in the backfield by Brock Marple, but should be at least five, maybe 15 on the face mask. Face masking. Face masking. Looks to be the five yard incidental penalty. It'll be second down over again. Should be first. Should be enough for the first. Yeah, they might have to measure. Miller was dropped at the 33 with the face mask. Only gets it to the 38, so it's only a one yard pickup on the penalty, but it's still second down. This time, Finnis at the line of scrimmage. And runs into a man who outweighs him by at least a quarter. The third down coming up. Third down. Fogarty on the side. Thank you, finish. Passing the flat rod. 40, 45, 50. 45 on the football. Is he out of bounds? No. Latimer can't hold on. The Buccaneers recover the loose fumble, and the Mohegans will play defense. It's like it's going to go against the Mohegans. 
Center takes a snap, fights up the middle, but it's not even going to be close. Second effort might get it, but I don't think they're going to give him that spot. Number 24, Sloan Faston carried. Stop by Guy Hornsby and FC. Well, they gave him that stretch at the last second. They gave him that stretch at the last second. <laughs> oh, man. Spot the ball. He did. He stretched it out the last second. I, I hate to say it. I know nobody in this county is going to agree with me. It's the right call, but it's still not enough. And <laughs> Basin just barely missed it. So give him an A for style points. He did. He stretched it out. I think he went down, though, after he stretched it out. We're in the process of going down. Forget Indiana Jones. You want adventure? Become an NCAC referee. First and ten Morgantown from their own 45 yard line. Fogarty to pass. Looking, the lefty fires over the middle, has a man caught, tipped in, caught on the second tip by Nick Miller, who's still on his feet as he's dragging the entire Buccaneer team inside the 20 yard line. That's uh, page nine of the playbook. If you wanna look it up, page nine. Two tips and a catch. And Miller had no trouble pulling out one of It's inside the 25. Rodimer looking for a hole, finds a seam and pancaked at the 19 yard line. Morgantown 24, but Cannon 7 here in the third quarter. Fogarty and Miller are twins to the right. Fogarty on the option. And we'll keep it. And down to the 20. Never pitched it to Jeremy Rodney. Well, there was that time that Fogarty did beat Jeremy in the race. He out sprinted him. Of course, that's when Rodimer was on crutches last year. But he still won. It still counts as a win. Loss of the yard on the carry. Since that time, Jeremy's been challenging him, but Jeremy has since retired and refuses to run. Chooses not to. Third and four. Ball is spotted at the 19 yard line. Third and four for the Mohegans. Miller in the wing to the left. Jeremy Rodman on the buck sweep, stepping inside, but is tripped up in the back. Jeremy Rodman carried. Stop by David Post. Lost the two yards on the carry. It'll be fourth and six. Fifth goal attempt by number 27. 
try to attempt a 37-yarder, 38-yarder. And it's partially blocked. This one's going to be wide left. And the wide left. First and 10 with Cannon at the 20. Option pitch out, and Dahlheim breaks a couple of tackles before he's finally brought down by Dempsey Friend near the 25 yard line. Dempsey Friend and West Bay made the stop. Give the second hand up again. Dahlheim running, not much, just short of the first down. Guy Hornsby and Matt Muller made the tackle. Third down and about two now for the Buccaneers. Trying to stop him, and it's not to that guy, it's to that guy. First down. Based it on the keeper. Takes out Randy Jones and first down, Buccaneers. First down for BU. Way to go, Jones. It's just a one. Had a rough night though. You notice we're a little bit lower. They've uh, put us down to the second floor. Based in the throw, finds a tight end, and I only one my bite. That's intended for number 36, Chris Kimball. Kimball can't hold on. Second and ten. Second and 10 now from the 34. 24 7, Morgantown leading. Second hand off up the middle. Dahlheim fights his way. Vladimir and Kleinschmidt making the stop. Stop on the play, Jeremy Rutherford and Hayden Kleinschmidt. First down, Buchanan. First down, Buchanan, I'm sure. Time it's post. 
Not much. Hosting Mohegan, Adam Dalton, Nancy Friend making the tackle. And Nancy Friend. Basin on the keeper, left side. Not much. Slow Basin on the keeper. Stop by Nancy Friend and Adam Dolan. Third down at about five, four BU. Based on the option pitch out to Dahlheim, hit and dropped in the backfield. Nice play by Adam Finnis. Adam Finnis made the stop. Should be fourth down. Durham fields the ball at about the 17. So in the third quarter, Morgantown holding a 24 to 7 lead. Shane takes the snap. No, gives it up the middle. Adam finished through a hole. Still on his feet, fighting his way ahead. Nice run by the senior fullback, Adam Finnis. with a 15-yard run there. Have an ace. Rodimer in motion. We give the Jeremy on the sweep. Right side, 35. Steps back inside, fights his way ahead, but dropped and brought backwards. A gain of about six, maybe seven for number seven. Seven yard pickup for Jeremy. Second and three. Second and three. Motion comes Miller, fake to Miller, give to Finnis, up the middle. First down across the 45, 40 to the 45, 44, as the second quarter comes to an end or the third, depending upon which game you're watching. We head to the fourth, Morgantown 24, Buckcannon 7. This is Morgantown Mohegan football. First and 10, Rodimer. First play in the fourth quarter, turns the corner, 
50 makes a move at the 50, fights his way ahead to about the Buchanan 47 yard line. Stop made by Aaron Snyder. Brought him with three touchdowns already tonight, all three of his touchdowns. This is Miller in motion around the right side. Simpson out in front. Nick Miller carry. And Miller would have the first down, I do believe. First down, Morgantown. Aaron Snyder and Rock Markle make the hit. Miller now finished up the middle. A couple of yards for the senior. Adam Phillips carry. James Egress and David Post on the tackle. <laughs> Second and seven from the 38. And Joe and Jason were doing Oklahoma drills there for a second. Hello in motion. Third, Rodimer. Fights his way through at the 30, 25. First down, Jeremy Rodimer at the 23 yard line. Zach Allman and Sloan Mason made the stop. Say he stepped out at the 25, but it's still a Mohegan first. Latimer again. Across the 20 to the 15, down to the 10, kicking his legs to the eight yard line. Another first down by the junior. First and goal from the eight for the Mohegans. As there's an injured Buccaneer setting up camp about the six. Trouble now, you don't move your car. And the eight. Look at the over center. Steps back, looking for Seth. In the corner, Seth, touchdown. Fogarty's first touchdown pass and Fogarty's first touchdown catch of the 2001 campaign. As the brothers hook up. And Morgantown now leads it 30 to 7. Harry Dover, the off the hold of number 10, Chris Redding. 
Number 25, Wes McVay is the snapper. McVay to snap, running off the hole, dirty. Two kick, and it's good. So Morgantown on their way to the 15th straight win. Has jumped out to a 31-7 lead on the Buccaneers. Next week, Morgantown will head down I-79 and across route whatever it is, the fine city of Elkins to take on the Tigers. Elkins losing at East Fairmont this evening. Down I-79 and up whatever it is to Fairmont with the face of the polar bears of Fairmont. Before returning home again in week four to face the bees of East Fairmont. Dirty kicks it. Looking deep. Is it? Yes. Touchback. His fourth of the night for Eric Doherty. And with the first team defense come out on the field, Doherty, nice night tonight for him. Four touchbacks. He also hit a field goal. Great night for the senior. In the backfield, nothing. Gets away though, but Adam Dalton is there to seal the deal. And Dempsey Friend can't believe he missed it. Fullback is a host of Mohegan to make the stop. Second team defense for the most part, slowly creeping in. Quarterback for the Buccaneers. He's around and incomplete. Aiden Kleinsman had good coverage. Probably could have made the INT. down for the Bucks, they'll be forced to find it away and they want they want timeout because they've only got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, now eleven. Including the guy that has to snap the football. That's kinda like losing your keys. You're really not going anywhere without. And this one's coming into your living room.
I'll tell you what, people suck. Yeah, they did. That's nice. The band ought to be fine. I don't know if it really is. He did these games for six years. You'd think he'd remember there's a microphone on the camera. He starts talking out loud to people for a videotape that's good. No, I know you weren't talking about the cheerleaders. Otherwise, you'd have said girls, but you said guys. I'm going to put them on the seat. Let's go downstairs. All right, messenger. He's already a messenger, Jim. Bakken. And who plays that position? Ladies and gentlemen, Josh Stone. A reminder about no, Bakker action. Josh Stone, Stone. Go. Tomorrow. Josh Stone. And we'll oh, do the MHS girls soccer team will take on Jefferson. And at 2 o'clock tomorrow, the boys soccer team plays Jefferson. You guys better ball. You better ball. Full mess. Right? 38 bucks. You know, 38 bucks. Let's go. Come on, cruising down the field, baby. Come on, Joe! Go, Drenny! Hey, Coach Lucci! Coach Lucci! Hey, Coach Lucci! Coach Tustin and the Mohegans leading 31 to 7, despite Coach Tustin's unhappy look. We're still winning, Coach. This is Nabo. And the transfer from Capital doesn't get much. you again up the middle nice hole for around you the sophomore bouncing his way forward still on his feet as he carries six Buccaneers down the plank okay now that one was bad <laughs> I can't be saying making forcing the Buccaneers to walk the plank First and ten, Mohegans at the 29-yard line. Chris Gunning, the new quarterback. New tailback. Guy Hornsby. The nose guard gets a run at fullback. The Mohegans are knocking on the door again. This time at the 20-yard line. Second and one. Second and one at the 20-yard line. There is Durham. Number 22. I'm sorry. Josh Durham. Number 62, John Dillard makes the stop at a mic on the play. from the 31. First and 10 though. Penalty pushes the Mohegans back. I see Debo Aranya still on his feet fighting his way ahead. Nice run by the sophomore. Of 
left. And this is Hornsby again. Not much. Third and seven now for Morgantown. Wing to the right is Durham. High formation, and they gave to Aranya. Finding his way ahead, spinning, almost loses the football, is forced backwards. And it'll be interesting to see where the ball is spotted. Will be short at first, so it'll be fourth down for the Mohegans, holding to a 31-7 lead. Fourth and about five yards. Fourth and five at the 26. Term in motion, he gets the call. Left side and is dying. <laughs> Excellent effort by Josh. I think he's going to come up short though. As he stepped out. At the 25 yard line, where the Buccaneers will take over first and 10. First to ten, uh, Buchanan from their own 25. Here in the fourth quarter, Morgantown leading 31 to seven. Power eye formation. Move the second tail back with a burst of speed around the near side. 35, 40, 45, 50. Nice tackle, Dan Dalton. In the open field. He might, Rabbit, he might. High formation. Pitch out to the tailback. Brought down by Durham. Trick it. And also Matt Atkins. Stop on play number 16, Travis Trickett. And number 22, Josh Durham. Second and five at the 46. 
That's it. That's the best you guys can come up with. You've been watching these highlight tapes for four years. And that's it. This is a fumble on the play. Flags on the play. Players on the tackle. Okay, because you've got all season. All season. Uh, Buchanan knocked backwards after the clipping penalty. And there's another carry up the middle. Another tackle by Dan Dalton. Fullback though, stuck to the backfield, nice. Zach Allman, carried. Matt Kozer, it looked like he was in the backfield first. Stop on the play, Matt Kozer, and takes it to the I'm out for Buchanan. They face a fourth down situation. Tipped and almost picked off. Give him a heck of an interception, Josh Jordan, if we could have come up with it. Number 22, Josh Jordan, makes the pass breakup. Morgan down, takes over on down. The Meagles will take over. 31 7 they lead. And try to finish out the fourth quarter. From their own 42 yard line. Turning over center. And they give up the middle. Hornsby fights his way ahead. Nice move. A sophomore. Stop by Thomas Devasters and Ashton Queen. That will 
be it. Folks, from O'Higgins, start the 2001 season 1-0 as they defeat the Buccaneers of McCannon Upshur 31-7. And they christen their new turf for the victory. Next week, they'll travel to Elkins to take on the Tigers. For John Donaldson, Randy Jones, I'm your announcer, Chris Austin. It's been a nice night. Let's get Morgantown wins it, 31 to seven. This has been Morgantown Mohegan Football, a Video Quest production. Game against Fairmont Senior. On behalf of the Morgantown High School Athletic Department, the Bohemians and the Buccaneers, thank you for attending tonight's game.
Yeah. 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 Yeah.